Hey yo, it's me Tifo and welcome back to the shit show. We got another little thing from the movie, or what the movie, the fucking show, The Acolyte, Soul of the Jedi. Just a little 1 minute and 20 second uh, preview type thing. I'm not, I figured like it's like a little bit of like Jim just speaking about it. I don't think it's like a, a little teaser clip, whatever it is, but uh, I think we'll see. It's uh, the devil herself on the screen as we go into it, so uh, let's see what... Uh, Let's see if she's gonna tell anyone to go into a room and do stuff they don't want to do. So uh, let's go. Reading the character of Soul when Squid Game came out. Wait, what? I was writing the character of Soul when Squid Game came out. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. I said that Soul. You carry a Jedi weapon, but you are no Jedi. Lee Shang she just ran the gamut of every single emotion. He has been a legendary actor for years. He's a good years. actor. He's a good he has actor. real ownership of his character. We have a suspect, really like an old him. Padawan of yours. Let me be the one to bring her in. You know, he is such a lovely actor, JJ. I feel so much like he just has so much heart that he brings to it and so genuine. JJ knows how to switch from being formidable and then switch to being heartbreaking. I don't know many actors that can do that. Switch to being heartbreaking. I don't being formidable and then switch to being heartbreaking. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's every fucking actor, bro. That's their job. <laughs> that's literally their fucking job, bro. Why are they always dick riding people so hard in like these like little previews to show? Bro, that's their fucking job. Like acting like there's few people that can do that. No, fucking like all actors can do that. Stop. Many actors that can do that. Nah, all of them can. It's their fucking job. Lee Jung Jae shines so beautifully in this role and looks fantastic when he's fighting. It's really like dancing. I'm actually interested JJ is just to see a him. cool Jedi. Honestly, I still can't believe I played a part in Star Wars. I'm still trying to be cool about it. See, having some someone like him, that's the one you want to promote the show with. That type of person right there. He is the one that they should just have face front, forth, right ahead. All him, bro. All freaking him, man. Because I think... It, I, he seems like he's like a genuine guy to me. I think he really just... I think he is someone that genuinely cares with every single like ounce of... Of his fucking... Whatever. He cares. I think he really freaking cares, man. I, I'm... I, like, I think he is absolutely without a doubt one of the main reasons why I want to watch this show. I think he's an interesting character. Like an interesting actor. I think he's... Someone that seems very passionate and as someone that's just very happy to have gotten the opportunities that he's gotten. So he's not going to take them for granted whatsoever. Is the show still going to suck? I really hope it's good. It's not going to be. <laughs> it's not going to be. But I really hope it is. I, I want it to be good. But at the same time, I don't because I don't want Leslie Hitler never touching anything again, honestly, like, she's probably not innocent in all the shit that's been happening, but who fucking knows, like, there's a reason why she's still around, of course, but, I don't know, man, even with all the this, that, and the other about this show, right, I want it to be good, no matter what, there is nothing that I want more than all, like, whatever it is, Rings of Power, The Acolyte, fucking whatever, I always want every single movie and every single show to be good because if it's good then i can re-watch it and i can watch it again and again and again but with like 85 percent of everything that's come fuck it 95 percent of everything that's coming out i'll watch it once and i'll never touch it again which is so unfortunate right but i'm hoping that this is one of those ones that i can that's unrealistic thinking and it's not gonna happen but then again you can't really judge something before you've seen it, so obviously I will make my actual judgment when I see the show. So uh, yeah, interesting. I, I I really hope this show is good, man. Like I, I just want Star Wars back on track, bro, and maybe like go away from the shows and focus on movies as well. 
give us like one show a year that's like really fucking good and connects with like the one movie a year you do. Oh, bro. Maybe like if there's something crazy going on, you do like two shows and like one movie, but like just cut it down like freaking crazy, bro. And just really deep dive into like building a specific world with like really fucking hardcore lore that is just not broken at all. Whereas this show right here is law breaking in every single aspect there is, bro. And it's just it's so unfortunate to see, man.